Yeah, Nick was, was really impressive, I thought, for four quarters. He got the move early and attracted the attention of the, the kicker more than he's done in previous weeks, so that gave him a few more looks at the footy than he's than he's been getting in the last fortnight. And he certainly made the most of his opportunities in front of goal, uh, kicked really well, and um, was able to pressure the ball on the way out too. So after a couple of quieter weeks, it was really impressive for Nick. At this stage of his career, without the body to go you know, as a key position forward, it, it probably means that he's got to get on the move a little bit more and um, be a little bit more crafty in the way that he gets it. And so look, he resets well, he gets in the space out the back, but he can also hit up. Um, and it's just working on when to do what really for him. We threw Deck back onto the wing today and that's been a little bit different. He's been a bit inside and outside so just played as a winger all day today and was able to, to firstly set up really well and gave us good coverage um, on the outside of the stoppage but and he was able to get forward at the, the right time and um, when we are particularly able to use the open side of the ground Deck was able to to make space and run some good patterns and that's something he'll continue to do in weeks to come to, to learn that role. Um, and I thought for a winger, his ability to pressure the ball and tackle, which isn't always um, a requirement as much when you play outside, um, was still really strong. So I thought his ability to still do that was really important. Yeah, by far, Daniel's our best game at VFL level. thought for the, the entirety of the game, he was really strong in the air, took a number of intercept marks, and he's often in the past been in a good position to take those marks, but hasn't always held on to them. But today he was you know, really strong in the air and hit the ground running a few times and was able to, to take the opposition on and, um, importantly, use the ball really well coming out of the back half, and that's another area that Dan's improved in as well. Um, so... Yeah, really impressive and um, hopefully can build on that going forward. He's done a lot of work in being able to identify the, the flight of the ball and, and adjust accordingly, so it was good to see him actually put that in practice because he does do a lot of work on that during the week. Prusy, we, we had playing a little bit more forward today uh, just so that he can practice some of, um, of that forward craft that he he probably needs for when he plays at AFL level with uh, with Goldie in the side as well. So we are able to get that and that's a bit of a work in progress for him. But I thought in the last quarter when he did play in the ruck he was you know, really important around the stoppages, getting the ball going forward but then was also able to push into defence and took a couple of timely marks to to prevent um, Casey from going forward and hitting the scoreboard. So he was able to do it at both ends, which was impressive for him. Your bigger players set the tone for your aggression, but as long as that aggression's controlled, it can be you know, really beneficial for the team. And occasionally, Braden still has to find the line there, but I thought today um, yeah, he had a real size advantage on his opponent. He was able to use that um, really, really well. And if he can follow up and, and uh, clear a bit of space for those on-ballers as well, that's really important too. The game was in the balance for a lot of the day. You know, Casey might have kicked out by a couple of goals here and there, we were able to, to stay in the contest. And then going into three quarter time, it was anybody's game. And um, I thought our midfielders uh, really went to work in the last quarter, got the ball going forward. And our defensive shape to hold up under pressure was, was really strong as well. So when you win those ones that can potentially go either way, um, yeah, it's really, really good for the group. Yeah.